Greetings and welcome to another Brick in the Mall. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am really enjoying playing this early access game. And by the way, I have opted into the experimental build of this, so we have access to all the latest and greatest features. So what I did between episodes is I rearranged the checkout counter, so now we have an absolute ton of them and uh, we'll have all kinds of cues happening. It does give us a better ratio for space uh, when putting them like this. So we're gonna be able to hire more clerks if we need to. I just did this in the past uh, day of game time. So that's why we only have one checkout clerk available, which is unfortunate, but looks like it's leading to lots of stealing too. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I've also done is I've rearranged the shelves. So we have a central aisle here um, and I've added kind of like shelves to um, to these other areas just so that we can have uh, maybe more products set out. I haven't assigned them yet. So um, I, what I'm doing is I'm, I want to wait uh, a day till the um, these numbers go down because I'm sure that I deleted one of a kind items. Uh, so I'm going to assign them after midnight. So looks like our people finished building our nice uh, new spot here for the appliance store. I'm quite excited about that. So let's just go ahead and build that. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, that's, ah, that was uh, research. Aha. Okay, so we're only, wow, luxury supplier, jewelry. Ooh, I look forward to a jewelry store. Okay, so I'm gonna have maybe, maybe appliances and tools in the same store. That sounds okay. Uh, let's just do that. So let's figure out where we're gonna have tools show up. Let's see, aha, here they are, hand tools and power tools. So let's just set up some shelves in here for that. And also we want to have uh, pallets. This is so cool for washing machines and dryers and things. That's so exciting. I, I don't know, oh wait, shoot. I was clicking on the wrong square here. Okay, let's just have them in aisles like this. Just the same as we would have any other thing. I don't know what side they need to be accessed from. Uh, so we'll just try to do it this way. And that seems okay so far. So let's build also checkout counters. We need to have an entrance to our lovely store and we'll put it right over here. I feel like we're playing <laughs> a variant of, uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the old roller coaster tycoon. I haven't played the new version, but one through three, it's like one queue leads to another. So you put the exit of one store next to the entrance of another, and hopefully they'll share customers. Okay, so let's put in some checkout counters. I love this rotatable thing. That is awesome. I'm just going to do these as regular queue lines for now. This is not as big as the grocery store, and I don't anticipate actually needing um, massive amounts of queue places. So uh, let's assign this to be a store. That's important. Uh, all right, so let's manage it. We're going to call this. This is store nine, but we're going to call it uh, appliance, appliances and tools. Um, I'm not a, I'm not going to apologize for the non-creative name because it is a functional name plus tools. Okay, the and sign doesn't work. Um, it's probably a special character, so that's why it's not adding. But appliances plus tools is just fine with me. All right, we're going to open it all day long because when you have a tool emergency, you got to have one. So let's, we need to assign the storage. So we're going to assign this place to here. Uh, and let's get, let's hire a stock clerk first. Wow, this guy would be a great cashier. Um, let's hire Alice to be our stock clerk initially. Let's hire some cashiers while we have these good candidates. Uh, Pat Lawson sounds really good. I'm just gonna hire them for now and we'll assign them in a little bit because we need to assign products to these uh, spots. Wow, Mickey Schmidt, awesome. Um, patience. This guy would be a decent uh, stock clerk. So I'm gonna put him as stock clerk. Um, Zoe, wow, she, she would be great as a cashier. Okay, so that's gonna be enough for now. Let's just go ahead and, oh, you can right click to manage store. I like that, very nice. 
Um, yeah, let's just start getting shelf, shelf items here. So tools, we have three different kinds of tools that we can sell here. Uh, and we have eight shelves, how nice. <laughs> Tools, car tools, and hand tools, and power tools, and more car tools, and hand tools. Oh, really? Does that mean she can take all those clothing boxes and magically make them into tools? Oh my gosh, is that not wonderful or what? That is awesome. Okay, so those are power tools. Let's go with the uh, car tools again and hand tools. I'm just, I could look up which ones we need better, but anyway. Okay, washing machines. You know what? We'll just have all the washing machines in a line and then all the dishwashers. We'll have like this parade of appliances. Yes, I like that idea. Uh, washing machine, washing machine. Okay, I'm going to change my other stock clerk to be at a different time. There we are. And cashiers, we really need to adjust them. How many cashiers do we have in our clothing store? We have several, more than one. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight working every three hours. That sounds okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. I just need three more. Wow, not a lot of people. Eh, okay, five. No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two more. Oi, everybody is not great. Uh, two more, one more. Uh, I'll hire Leo as a stock clerk. That might be nice to have a different button here where you could say, oh, I want to hire you as a stock clerk instead. Uh, okay, Christian here is, we'll grab him. Okay, and we'll let's assign our people. Yeah. Okay. You can start at zero and you're going to be at three and you're going to be at six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, and am I missing one? I guess 24 is zero. That's the same time, I think. So that's good. We're all good. All right, awesome. So now we have some proper cashiering going on and we have lots of people stealing washing machines. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let me grab uh, more pallets here um, for the fourth different kind of appliance. And I can add some more shelves as well. Yeah, just another row of shelves is just fine. I like having them. I kind of like having them mix and match. I, I admit. I admit it. It looks fun. Okay, we're going to have dishwashers on these pallets here. Wow, these may this store actually, it looks like it may require more uh, stocking clerks because every time one gets sold, you got to put out another pallet. So... Okay, now we're gonna go, oh shoot, I should have put the dryers over here instead of the washers. You know what, they need to, we're, we're just, we're mixing the shelves so people get different ideas. This is a thing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna call it that. Drying machines, drying machines. I forgot if I got an extra stock click or not. I'll, I'll check for it in a second. Fridges, fridge. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look right now. So we have two stock clerks, we have, or a third one. We do have the third. Okay, so go ahead and perfect. That's what we wanted. Now, keep on putting fridges down. We need fridges. It's a thing. A fridge is necessary for life. This is what we have learned playing The Sims. You could get pretty darn far, even if you had like this very expensive house in the beginning and you had nothing but a fridge. You get your entertainment from the newspaper, but you must have a fridge to eat food. It was a thing. Okay, so let's go back to tools. And what did we leave off on? Those, what do those look like? Those are power tools. That's the other thing. And then the hammers. Uh, oh, these are car things, I think. So this is whatever is second. They look like just standard tools. 
Okay, um, hand tools. Okay. Oh, wow, we're... No, we have to have at least one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two. Oh, we don't have a shelf, an extra one for those. Let's go put it down. Power tools. Shove it down. Car tools. Hand tools. Power tools. It's kind of funny because... Oh, I, I know what they're calling it. Power tools. I usually think of power tools as hand tools. But they're talking about non-powered tools like hammers and screwdrivers and things. Very cool. Though, it does have something that lo looks suspiciously like a boombox there. Uh, unless that's maybe like a tool chest, possibly. That could be. I like tools. I use tools in real life. They're awesome. Okay, so let's see how our stores are doing. Clothing store, how you doing? Wow, $20,000. That's pretty decent. Uh, how are we doing on parking? Ooh, we lost a bunch of customers yesterday. Not quite sure why, but it's kind of scary. Hmm. That is slightly disturbing. Kind of the goal for me is to have enough product not to have to hire more stockers. So when they finish stocking, they should have pretty much for the whole day with minimal amounts of, of restocking, I'm hoping. Okay, grocery store. Okay, so now we're at the grocery store and I forgot to finish this because I got basically distracted. Let's see what we're missing in terms of products. We're missing drugs. Let's take drugs here. I've not take drugs. Haha, <laughs> we'll put <laughs> standard drugs on the shelf here. <laughs> Media and toys. Hmm. I'm kind of not sure if I should do any media items. I feel like I shouldn't. Uh, I, I really want, just want to focus on groceries here. So we can actually do... Yeah, we're going to not put toys and stuff. We're, we're just going to add other things like detergents and miscellaneous stuff. Okay, breakfast cereal we're missing. That's good to do. So food, fresh fruits. And we'll put veggies here. And bread. There, okay. So we have nice uh, things there. Okay, so frozen veggies can definitely go there. We definitely need to add frozen pizza and fish. Um, okay, so let's look for more I think we can add probably more milk and more uh, pizza. Those are like the staples of life, you can just tell. So why are there so few cashiers here? This is what I don't understand. I think this store should have a lot more cashiers in it. Why are they not? <gasps> oh, dear me, dear me, look what I did. This is bad, okay. Never do this in the future. This is a learning experience. Store. You belong to the whole store. Oh, no wonder. Wow. Aha. <laughs> okay, silly mistake. Okay, that was, that was, but it's good to learn. I am in a learning stage. This is great. Okay, so we sorted this out. Looks like we may need another janitor. Let's look at our maintenance place. And we'll finish assigning those in just a second. Uh, maintenance world, where are you? There you are at the top. Okay, janitors. We have one hired all day. Um, I'm thinking we may need more. Ooh, hey, all this stuff. I kind of wish that these are, were a little bit more distinctive, like the ranges could have, you know, colored tops. Like sometimes they, they put those uh, like red stickers to indicate like a hot burner, even though obviously they're unplugged, but uh, they do have the stickers. Because I like the, um, the, the two-tone of the the washing machine that's really cool but these kind of look bland in comparison so devs if you're watching please <laughs> i mean i love the clothing store there's so much color and variety here it's quite lovely i'm tempted just to make like a women's clothing store that has the the brightly colored stuff uh and then the men's clothing store can have the slightly more boring stuff we'll just call them earth tones it's a thing Okay, let's go. I love, of course, the, the my grocery store is my favorite. I, I'm very much into color. I love color, so it makes me happy to see all these things. All right, so, gosh, let's have snacks here. 
let's have um, maybe bread. We have more bread there. Cookies. I could look these up, I guess. I could figure it out. But the problem with looking it up is that I always forget things. I have a very, very, very bad memory. So if I look it up, I might have to look it up 10 times, which is not good. So breakfast cereal and snacks, meat, fish, and bread are all high on our list. Okay, and now I've already forgotten. So wait, we need cereal. That was one of them from our list. But I think the others were also partially fridge food. So let's go with canned food here. Sauces and seasonings, coffee, oh, pet food. Can't let pets go hungry. No way. So, alrighty. Let's see, health and beauty. Let's see if we can remember any of those. There we are. We need toilet paper. Yes. Toilet paper, soap and shampoo, cosmetics, tooth care, and pads and tampons. Okay. Okay, soap and shampoo, I think, was on there. Um, tooth care, maybe? Cosmetics, I think, was on there. Oh, toilet paper, that was big on there. Alrighty, and... This one, okay, good. We have now sorted it. Excellent! We now have a, a functional store. Yay, it's actually functioning! Awesome. So now I can feel free to hire more clerks. I kind of feel like putting plants in here too. We can we can add plants. Oh my gosh, I have $112,000. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And I'm just happily ignoring all of these dots over here. Put plants on the ends here so it looks more festive. There they are. Apparently they reduce nausea as well, so maybe our people will be more happy as they're shopping and less affected by the wildness of the shopping center. Okay, so things are going pretty well. How is our appliance store doing? Let's look. Oh gosh. Okay, grocery. 822 occurrences. Hmm. Now I wonder if that's over all time or just for recently. I don't know. Okay, let's close this. Okay, restaurants. Wow. Parking. Wow. 187 cars. Holy fuzzy cats. That's a lot. Oh, that's so many. Okay, I'm going to put some... Um, I was going to build our... Um, staff parking here. Good. Okay, I'm glad to see these guys can just cross the roads. They don't have to have like a sidewalk or something to go on. That's really nice. Uh, kind of gives it a lot more freedom of movement. Okay, these guys are going pretty well. Let's see our appliance store, how it's doing financially. Zone. Making around 5,000, 78%. What about the clothing store? Making 18,000. Grocery store is at 6,000, but I expect that to go up. Uh, I could definitely use some more checkout clerks here. I think that the queues are basically full. So I think I will hire some more people, especially during peak hours, which is like right now. Uh, right, so let's hire a couple cashiers. Ugh, there's nobody that I really want. Let's get... Eh, you're good as a janitor. <laughs> All right, Vincent, you will be here. Let's put you, uh, when is now? Uh, 18, 16. Let's have him come in at noon, basically. Yeah, and we'll hire another cashier. Ooh, Rory is, is going to work out fine for us, I think. You come in, like, here. That should be all right. Oh boy, so many people. Ah, oh, and the rest of these guys are just 
terrible for what I need. I might just have to unlock new road access. You know what? I think I will do that. So to unlock new road access, what you need to do is you need to have it researched, which I've already done. Uh, and then you go and find the thing. There is one. And oh, and you click it. And I thought there was a window that popped up and said, hey, do you want to pay $20,000? And I said, yes, let's build. Let's let's do this. Uh, and then you build a road, basically. That's how I unlocked the other one. I forgot if I did that on camera or not, but um, that's basically how to do it. Okay, let's just go here like this. Wow, parking lots, let's pave the world. Woohoo! Alrighty, so um, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. I'm just really having a great time with it. I can't wait to see what the future will hold and how my employees will hand, stand up to the stress here. Um, so thank you so very much for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves and each other. See ya.